In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, this weekend, the world over, especially in our land, here in America, we give God thanks for the gift of the many mothers in our midst. Mm -hmm. And today as a parish community, we remember them, we celebrate them, we thank and pray for them. And let us ask the Lord to bless them abundantly for their goodness and generosity to us and to our parish community. Let's now pause for a while to renew our relationship with the Lord. For even when we are faithless, unfaithful, He is faithful. Dear sisters and brothers, we come together in Paschal joy to celebrate, remember, and be reformed. And so as we renew our covenantal relationship with the Lord, I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of our body, and life everlasting? I, I do. do. This is our faith. And this is the faith of the church. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You pray.
grant to Almighty God that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord and that what we really love in remembrance we may always hold on to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, get up, I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, in truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, 
the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that he might ha we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give the glory and the honor to the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to Glory you, to O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I've told you everything I heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. The various Gospels, according to the four evangelists, and in particular, the Gospel of St. John, can be summed up in one word. It's a no-brainer. And the word is love. But when you delve deeper into the love that John places before us and proposes to us 
as extended to us by Jesus, two other words flow from it. How this love takes effect. And the two words are mutual indwelling. You remember the words of Jesus? The Father and I are one. And towards the end of his life, he would say, the Spirit and I are one. He doesn't actually say it, but he implies it. And in John 15, that we've been hearing all these days, and also this Sunday, today, he says, I am the vine, and you are the branches, and therefore, love one another as I have loved you. As the Father loves me, and I love the Father, you need to love one another. Well, it sounds easy, but you know how difficult it is. For me, personally, it is a struggle. Sometimes, to forgive. At other times, to let go. And at all times, to forget. And yet, that's what we are called to do. You know, as we love one another as a church and as a society, tensions can arise. Look at the early church. It was so beautiful. The Acts of the Apostles in the beginning would say they were of one mind and one heart. And then what happens? People are being drawn to Christianity, to God. The Gentiles are converting themselves to the Lord. Or better still, the Lord is converting them to himself. And their numbers increase. And the Jewish Christians feel threatened. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? It's not just the story of America. It's the story of every culture, of every nation, of every person. We always feel threatened when we grow suspicious of something, of someone. Will I get my due? Will that piece of pie be mine or will that go to somebody else? And so what does the early church do? They try to impose on these Gentiles the Jewish customs and ways. And they say, you need to fall in line with the Mosaic law. You need to live as one of us in taking on yourself our own dietary habits. And so notice that in the early church, tension arises because of ethnicity. Gentiles are coming in large numbers, dietary rules, and then circumcision, also rituals. There is real tension not just in the early church, the congregation, but among the apostles. And they are divided into two parties. And God intervenes. The Holy Spirit illumines and says, look, I have already anointed them with my spirit, with my gifts. What's going to prevent them from being baptized? Peter would speak up. As a church... It's important for us to ask ourselves this question, who belongs? Who belongs to God? And the one word answer to this would be everyone. An easy answer, but a difficult one to embrace in real life. Because we are always trained, we grow up in this us and them. It's important because it's looking upon the other that I know myself. It's looking at the other that we learn who we are, where we are from. But then, after we grow to a certain extent, at the second half of our life, we need to let go of these puny identities and embrace the larger world and include everyone, realizing that everyone belongs. Actually, Everything belongs. And so, everyone matters. All matter. All lives matter. 
and all belong to God because God belongs to all. To conclude, 21 years ago, we lost our mom. And being the eldest son in the family, I went to the pastor, and I was already a priest for 10 years, but I took my childhood friend Robert with me. My next door neighbor, we were classmates, we grew up together. He's still around. And he belonged to the Protestant church, what we call CSI denomination, Church of South India. And as soon as my pastor saw me, he greeted me and hugged me and then turned to my friend and said, how come I never saw you in church? And so I had to jump in uh, between and take the bullets onto myself and say, Father, he belongs to another denomination. And imagine my surprise when I heard my pastor say, what abomination? Well, jokes aside, it is an abomination when you think of the person in front of you as the other. I and the Father are one. I remain in you, Jesus tells us, as the Father remains in me. And the same Jesus who says to me, I remain in you, he says to you, to you and to the other. And that is why when I bow to the other, it is the one in me bowing to the one in the person who is facing me. In other words, we are connected. We are one. This is what it means to be the vine and the branches. Not just we Catholics. Not merely including Protestants. Not merely including believers. But also agnostics, atheists, and to be more specific, even Muslims in today's cultural setting. And this would also go on to translate as the color, the creed, the class, and all that. These are all just conveniences that over time become inconveniences for us. If only scales fall from our eyes and we are able to allow the one in us to see the God in the other and recognize, and then there is communion. Let's pray that you and I may remain as fellow branches on the vine who is Christ, that we may look upon the person facing us as not the other, not as a threat to us, but that as the Christ who is in us, also present in the other. I remain in you, and I remain in the other. Therefore, I say to you, love one another as I love you. It's hard, but I try. Even this morning, I struggled with something. But there again, I'm called to. I have no other option, is there? Because notice how he ends it. This, I command you, love one another. Well, I choose to love. How about you? Let's rise and raise our prayers and petitions to God, our father and mother. As a mother, he makes us come to be. And as a father, he provides for us, protects us, and guides us. And so, let our response be, Lord, bless the mothers. Lord, Lord bless, bless the, the mothers. mothers. For the church of God, that she who is called to be the mother of all people may welcome them, embrace them, and reveal them to the loving and merciful face of God, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, bless, bless the all mothers. mothers. For our nation, that as we emerge slowly and steadily from what we have been through over the last year, may we stay together as sisters and brothers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless the mothers. mothers. For our parish community of St. John Vianney, that we may welcome those who come seeking God and his comfort and may be present to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, bless, bless all mothers. mothers. For all mothers, godmothers, foster mothers, adopted mothers, and those who have played the role of mothers in our lives, that as we celebrate Mother's Day and are grateful to those who nurtured us and shared their affection with us, that we hold them in our hearts and our prayers with respect and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless all the mothers. For all mothers who have gone to their eternal reward, that God may bless them with beatific vision, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless all the mothers. mothers. For all mothers who may miss their children this weekend due to one reason or another, that they may feel the love and be comforted by the thought that God watches over their daughters and sons. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless all mothers. mothers. For mothers who have lost a child, that they may realize that death may end a life, but not a relationship. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless all mothers. mothers. For those who may have had a challenging relationship with their mothers, that they may know that all is forgiven and they are loved, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless all the mothers. mothers. For all those of our parish community who are sick, including George Fela, Judy Finch, Kyla Gaherty, Aniva Lara, Ruth Jeff, Lauren Pastoral, Pacho, and Sebastian Lara, Opal Williams, Fred Chen, Frank Delia, and Christy Davidson. And for those who have died, Rosie Amos, Aunt of Mary Ann Richards, Mark Noga, nephew of Joe Noga, Geraldine Pugh, Claudia C.S. Kath, And Ken Kada, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless all mothers. mothers. For the special intentions of Nikki Nakatani and for Sydney Edoria, who celebrates her 71st birthday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless all the mothers. mothers. We now pause to pray for our personal needs. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is a moment of stewardship. And today, as we celebrate Mother's Day, we would like to thank God for blessing us with so many stewards in the form of the many mothers in our families and in our parish community, for all those that watch over us with the mother's love. May God bless them, and mothers, thank you. Hungry. 
they will know by our love, lifting up the lowly by sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise, the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of, of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is a true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Almighty God, our Father and Mother, through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is a word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to us sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. For when we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, 
and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy God, our Father and Mother, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. May he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, with the apostles and all the saints, with our sisters and brothers, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. We now pause to pray for Rosie Amos, Mark Noga, Geraldine Pugh. Claudia Siasat, George Greer, Dick Beal, and Ken Rader. Bless them, Lord, with eternal rest. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Lord's Prayer, behold in our special prayers the mothers in our midst. And so we say, Our, our Father, Father, who art who in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be, will be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And lead and us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, power, and glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should that you enter under my roof, my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed.
faith will sustain us. Hold on to love when violence seeks to destroy us. Hold on to love. Acts of compassion restore us. Hold on to love Hold on to love where hope is found Hold on to love where joy abounds Hold on to love where grace and mercy Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of his Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. If you're between the ages of 18 and 39 and looking to connect with other community members, we have a spring social um, for the next five Sundays, beginning next Sunday, May 16th, for um, our young adult Catholics. And it will be after our 11 a.m. Mass on all those Sundays. So plan to spend some extra time after Mass next week and join us for our first event, which is Faith and Frappuccinos. And then if you have little ones, um, we have Treasured Vacation Bible Camp for you. And there's just a few spots left for our uh, in-person camp. And then we also have an online camp that you can register for. Registration is on our website. And if you would like to volunteer, please contact Shannon Rogers. She would love to have volunteers to support all these kids who want to enjoy uh, this treasured time at Vacation Bible Camp with all of us. Thank you. I'd like to wish all the mothers in our midst a very happy Mother's Day. Thank you for who you are and for all that you do for your family and for the family of St. John Vianney. In your own way, you try to reflect that benevolence of God, that unconditional love of God. May God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. And I would also like to express my appreciation to Shannon Rogers and Kathleen Maslowski, who both shared reflections on motherhood at different masses today. We are grateful. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go announce that the God is love. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. People of God, see the morning is new. 
Rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb. Come and see, come and see, he is alive. A grave that is empty, a promise fulfilled. God who was with us is here with us still. He is here, he is here, he is alive. Hallelujah, love is alive, the sun has arisen 